is 37, 6'4", 253 pounds, 4 and 1 in Pride Fighting Championships. Yoshida! Inahiko Yoshida is 36, 5'11", 225 pounds, 4, 3 and 1 in Pride Fighting Championships. And it looks like Yoshida doesn't want anything to do with their judo past, Frank, because he has uh, shed the gi and he is in full MMA attire. So it's going to be interesting to see how much of a factor this plays on the Oyo Ogawa's psyche because I'm sure Ogawa thought that Yoshida would be wearing that gi. Great strategy, incredible strategy. You're not going to wear a judo gi against an incredible judo player like Ogawa. Yoshida was smart to take it off. They built their rivalry in judo, but they are now set to do battle in the MMA world. Nice overhand right there by Yoshida. As he wow. possibly takes this to Naoya Ogawa. Ogawa with the reach advantage. Height, reach, weight. It's amazing. Ogawa, Ogawa is, is, by all kinds of purposes, the, the bigger competitor, but not necessarily going to work very well against a, a, a very game, very quick Yoshida. People who wonder what the uh, deal is with Naoya Ogawa, well, let me put it this way. His win over Giant Silva at Critical Countdown 2004, the most watched pride fight in its history here in Japan. The guy, simply put, is a rating straw. I like how you should have came out right off the bell and started throwing some punches. I think we're going to have to see it again here after the break. Left jab there delivered by Ogawa again, striking not his forte. Look how low his hands are there, Frank. Leaving his oh, oh. exposed. Ogawa's using his nice long range, nice reach. Meanwhile, Yoshida again involved with two titanic struggles with noted striker Vanderlei Silva. Right now, they jockey for position with Ogawa pulling them to the ropes. Nice knee there delivered by Yoshida. Wow. Explosive, very calm, very patient, turn the corner, just start jumping right after. Uppercut by Ogawa. They remain in the clinch here. Looking for the inside heel trip is he got it. Yoshida and Ogawa trying to hold on to the ropes, which is, of course, illegal here in Pride. Great job by Yoshida to get that. That was incredible. I believe I'm my judo right. That uh, on the way down, if the ropes weren't there, it would have been incredibly quick and incredibly hard because of the of the size difference. Um, Yoshida hit that just so quick and so fast. The referee, senior official, Yuji Shimada, calling for the break, bringing the two fighters back to the center of the ring where they will start in the same position. Ogawa from the bottom now. In the guard. Yoshida, though, posturing, getting back up to his feet here, Frank. They're doing a great job. I, I love this new style of ground upon. A lot of the pride fighters are starting to use. Big wide base, standing up tall, looking to pass as they're trying to punch. A lot more action. Ogawa made his pride debut at Pride 6, submitting Gary Goodrich. Yoshida, of course, has built a reputation here in pride of taking on all comers going oh, wow. for that ankle lock. Got to turn his hips a little bit to his to his left. And try to extend that knee out. Good job, excellent work. He's got if he can belly down just a little bit more, he might be able to get it. But Ogawa is so strong in this position, he might be able to pull his heel out. You can kind of see it underneath there, starting to peek out a little bit. Ogawa trying to erase the stigma of having lost to Yoshida in judo, and now Ogawa is in the close guard of Yoshida. that head out there he goes posturing up now and he'll try to rain down some blows on Yoshida now he's got to remember Yoshida down here is the shorter guy Ogawa has a really really long reach advantage here. he's got to move him either get him all the way in or get him all the way off right now Yoshida is keeping Ogawa in that middle ground we keep getting hit it's almost like a spider leg -like guard here being employed he, he almost, yeah, exactly. You almost have to because of the length difference. You have to use those knees to try to get him way far away. There, Yoshida bringing him all the way in now. Now it's going to be hard for him to hit, but of course now Yoshida can't move so much either. Well, trying to stay busy as Yoshida brings him in close. Referee Shimada calling for action. 
Great sweep. Great sweep wow. Great sweep wow. Great tough out. And has an arm. For the Americana here. Oh, nice escape by Ogawa, but look at the quickness of Yoshida. Oh, wow. around and now raining in some blows there through the guards. Wow. Whoa, great, a great, great head kick. The Brazilian playbook. Got to protect his knee right here in his ankle. He's got his foot kind of in a precarious position. Cut underneath Ogawa. Ogawa's size, if he gets, gets you in a position where he just kind of has a submission, if he can get his weight on it, he can finish it off. And listen to the crowd. As they cheer on their favorites here in a battle of the land of the rising sun of two fighters whose past is very intertwined. A reversal here coming up by Ogawa. Could have tried to pass the guard there again, but now just busy posturing here, Frank. Good job, both these guys. Keep changing position. Staying active, keep moving along. Midway through round one. Up kick by Yoshida. <laughs> I've always found it interesting when, uh, when the competitors grab the ropes, both both competitors are Japanese, but yet they're giving instructions in English that the judges were. <laughs> Yoshida now, Ogawa with the cross base now, arching back and going with the rights through the defense of Yoshida. Yoshida along the ropes and trying to grab on there momentarily. There's Yoshida oh, going. Oh, 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 oh. He sucked that right in. Great job. Oh, he might get this. He might get this. He's got full extension. Yoshida extended the arm of Ogawa. And it's over. It's over. Oh my God, incredible. Six minutes and four seconds of the first round, and Ahiko Yoshida, in electrifying fashion, pulls out that arm bar from the bottom, Frank. And at 6.04, and Ahiko Yoshida does it one more time to a Naoya Ogawa. As with memories of what it was like to uh, be with Ogawa at Meiji University, part of the judo team, and then beating him in the 94 All Japan Judo Championship. But here we go again. Talk about, you know, exchanging insults out of the ring, but it's all about respect in the ring and a uh, good show of sportsmanship there. This is one of the best things you'll see is the sportsmanship of these fighters after the fights are over.